It's your boy Odin from Host.Promo, a website to find the best web posting promotions going on at any given time. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove that annoying footer credit that is found in a lot of different themes, okay? For example, if we go to the homepage of this theme, we can see test site proudly powered by WordPress. I'm going to show you two different key strategies on how to remove this from your theme and also how to change it. So the first strategy is by using a plugin. Okay, we're going to go to plugin, add new. Then we're going to go ahead and search remove footer or footer remove. And this plugin is going to pop up first. Remove footer credit by Macho Themes. We're going to go ahead and click the install now button. Once the plugin is installed, it's going to go over in the tools part of the menu. Okay, we need to activate it once it's installed. So we're going to go ahead and click activate. Now that the plugin is activated and we hover over tools, we can see remove footer credit. So we're going to go ahead and click this. It says enter text HTML to remove one per line. Okay. However, I want to show you guys something. If you just go like this and you try to remove it and save, nothing is going to happen because this is HTML, my friends. So what we need to do is we need to view the source code, okay? Most browsers, you can press Control U. And if that doesn't work, you can easily look up how to view the source code of a page, okay? Or you can type in view dash source colon and then the URL, okay? Once you get to the source code, we can go ahead and press Control F. I accidentally pressed Control D, which was going to bookmark it. I didn't want to bookmark it, but okay. Control F and we're going to search for the word proudly. And we're going to see this proudly powered by WordPress and also site name. This is all the code we want. So I'm going to copy it from this A tag to this A tag. Okay, two different A tags, but this is the HTML we want. And we're going to do control C. We're going to go back. We're going to put it in here. Keep it just like this, all weird and dented just like that. And we're going to click save. Now, if we refresh, the footer credit is gone. It's like magic. Voila. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you found that helpful. And I'm also going to show you another way that you may prefer. You may prefer not to use a plugin. And we can also replace the text, okay? So we could do hello world. And click save. And boom, we can see hello world. And of course, you can add links. Uh, all you need to do is click insert edit link. We could do HTTPS, host.promo. And now if we click save, we refresh, and we click this, it's going to go to host.promo, my website. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use a plugin, you have one other option. You can deactivate and delete this. And then you can go to appearance, theme editor. Okay. This may be a little bit more complicated and it may overwhelm some of you. That's why I wanted to show you the plugin first. However, it's always best not to use plugins if possible, okay? However, if your theme is updated, you will lose the changes. So if you were to do this long term, you would want to look into creating a child theme, which I'm not going to go ahead and show in this video. But if you want a quick solution and you don't want to use a plugin, you can go to theme files, go down to footer.php, and then we can look for the code in here, okay? It says proudly powered by space percentage S, okay? So this is where it may get confusing for some people. The percentage S is basically means this is where we're gonna use this for translating something in singular and plural. And then they throw in this third argument here into the function, okay? I'm not gonna go into all the details, but if we could just do hello world, and we could even we could even remove that, and we could even remove this third parameter. Um, and we could press update file. And then if we go to the site, 
you can see test site hello world okay so and then you could change for example the wordpress.org URL here you could change it to host.promo now if we update the file and we click this it will now go to our new website okay and that my friends is how you remove the footer copyright on WordPress either using a plugin or using no plugin at all and I really hope you found this video helpful make sure to like make sure to comment and make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out host.promo and I hope you guys have the best of luck with your WordPress site and I hope you have an amazing day peace out